I need to change the hub assembly on this 2007 Tahoe. I've changed a lot of hub assemblies before, but never on the uh, Tahoes or Silverados, half ton pickups, whatever, uh, four wheel drive, the 07 to what, 11 or whatever models. So, let's see how fast I can do it. Too cold to start a fire, I'm burning diesel, burning dinosaur bones. All right, if you've never changed the hub assembly before, they're not too bad, really. Um, first thing you gotta do is you gotta get the caliper off, and if that if there's a caliper bracket, too, um, you'll need to take that off usually because you gotta get the rotor off. In this particular application, I believe the caliper bolts were an eight took an 18 millimeter wrench, and the caliper bracket took a. 17 millimeter I might it might be 19 and 18 I don't remember then there's three bolts in this particular hub um, that hold it to the spindle those took a 15 millimeter and they're a little hard to get to couldn't hardly get a uh, ratchet on there but you do want to make sure that you compare your new hub assembly to your old make sure that you verify the wiring and orientation and studs and everything like that so now I'm just unplugging the wires and uh, they're kind of uh, fighting me a little bit unplug the wires and uh, the little clips that hold the wire down so I can pull that hub assembly off that there is called an axle nut CV shaft axle nut and it didn't want to go with just me holding it so that wasn't gonna work so back on the rotor and the caliper bracket and the caliper go with one bolt each just so that I could stick a screwdriver in that rotor to hold it um, solid. You know, this your hand and stuff can absorb a lot of that power that the impact wrench puts out and so keep it solid you'll get a better uh, result from your impact wrenches. And this hub assembly is original and like 200,000 miles on it, so she was a little rusted in there. If you're not reusing your hub assembly, um, as long as you're careful not to damage the spindle, you can pretty much go to town on it however you want. She was real stubborn. Now I'm sticking a bolt in the back so that I can beat on the bolt. Oh, it's still in the so I think I eventually grabbed some liquid wrench spray on there. I'm not saying the liquid wrench actually did it, but. Uh, I gave it just a minute or less. Came back to it. A little prying, a little, little more beaten. Finally went at it with the big sledgehammer again and off she popped. Okay, so inside there where those two contacts, where those two services meet, uh, you want to make sure that that's good and clean so that the new one goes in easily. I put anti-seize on there because, I don't know, I guess because I wanted to help out the next guy who's going to change this hub assembly. Hopefully they won't. I bought the good quality hub assembly. So so I swapped that uh, dust plate back over. I put anti-seize on those splines as well so that it all goes back together easily and doesn't corrode because that's no good. I use engine oil on bolts that I want to make sure get torqued to the proper spec but uh, that I don't want coming loose again because that oil will evaporate out of there and run off and go away and then uh, you don't have to worry about the, the oil remaining like you do with anti-seize. Anti-seize is for something that you know you're going to take apart again. Engine oil is really it works pretty good for assembly. So basically the same process, just in reverse, tighten down the three hub bolts, don't know the torque spec on it, 
but make sure that you always follow uh, manufacturer manufacturer recommended torque specs and all that jazz. Uh, do this at your own risk. Um, don't follow my instructions. I'm not responsible. Yada yada. You know the routine. So clip the new sensor wire on. Give that spindle or the uh, axle nut a little tighten down. Don't forget anti-seize on those uh, lug bolts too. Lug studs. Because those are going to come off again someday. You know, you've got to put new tires on someday. Same thing on the caliper bolts, the caliper bracket bolts, caliper bolts. I just use a little bit of engine oil on those because I don't want those coming loose sometime while you're driving down the road. Put the wheel back on. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to tighten the axle nut down to the proper specs, which is, I don't know, like 275 foot-pounds for this guy. So, there you go. Oh goodness, that took longer than it should have. Trying to hammer this old, oh, sorry, this old hub assembly out of there. A little rusty, but it is shot. Uh, there's just like no resistance to it at all. The new one was nice and smooth, so I got everything all hooked up. Dirt Perfect is signing off. Sorry guys, I guess I missed your live stream, but let's go take her for a test drive.